Hey sis, long time no see. I needed to talk to you about something. You open right now? It's been so long, Jenna. Why haven't you been answering my texts? Sorry, I've been pretty preoccupied for the past three years. <laughs> what on earth have you been doing for so long? You can't imagine how worried I've been all this time. Yeah, yeah, I know. You could have at least contacted me in some way or another, you know? I called you a million times. I texted you through every single platform I could think of. I was literally dying to reach you and you know it. Oh, sorry. I had your number and contacts on every single platform blocked until right now. So I didn't notice any of your calls. Oops. I knew it. And now you randomly decide to reach out to me, huh? So, I guess you're desperately in need of something right now. What is it? Money? Of course not. You're hilarious. I wanted to ask you something about your marriage. Your wedding is in two weeks, isn't it? Yes? How do you know? I heard from one of our mutual friends. After all, we were raised in the same town, weren't we? I still cannot believe that you were able to get a ring around your finger before me. It doesn't matter which one of us gets married first. Of course it does. There's no way on earth that a fat-faced, ugly girl like you was able to get married before my beautiful self. This should be illegal or something. <laughs> oh, shut up. Are you drunk or something? Whoa, very impressive. How'd you notice? <laughs> How could I not notice? You really say anything when you're drunk, honey. Like that one time you lied to my friend and made her believe that her boyfriend was cheating on her with me? <laughs> you really almost got her to try and murder me. Oh yeah, that was so much fun. <laughs> Speaking of boyfriends, I searched up your boyfriend's name on the internet out of curiosity. I even know his parents' house now. He lives in a huge house. He must be rich, huh? Even the interior of the house was super luxurious. Please stop stalking my fiancé, you creep. You even searched up inside of his house? Nope. I actually stepped inside myself to take a look. What's that supposed to mean? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm actually pregnant with his baby right now. Um, what? You should really go easier on the alcohol. Text me again when you're sober. Actually, I'm not joking. Let me reword it so you can understand me better. I'm pregnant with the baby of the man that is your fiancé. You know, the one you're bound to have a wedding with? What do you mean you're serious? You're lying. <laughs> I'll tell you one last time, so listen carefully. I'm pregnant with your husband's baby. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? It sounds pretty straightforward if you ask me. <laughs> He's mine now, so make sure to sign the divorce certificate, okay? I left it in the mailbox at our old house, so turn it as soon as you're done. You won't be able to have a wedding in a situation like this anyways. Might as well be quick with it. So I can have my moment quicker, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am not divorcing my husband. Well, you're not pregnant, aren't you? I got pregnant before you, therefore your husband, the father, is now mine. It makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Just get over with it. I don't have the time for your whining. He isn't the type of person to do such a thing in the first place. He's a gentle soul who would never hurt me like that. I get that you want to believe in your beloved husband, but this is the reality. So I need you to suck it up and move on, okay? Even if this were true, why would you do something like this? What do you mean? Before you disappeared for three years, you took all of my savings, every single cent of the $30,000 that I had spent years saving up. And you just ran away, didn't you? And even before that, you tried to sabotage my relationship with the guy I was dating back then. 
just so you could have him. You even lied to my best friend over and over to try to make her hate me as a person. What are you trying to accomplish by making my life more miserable? What's wrong with you? Uh, isn't it obvious? It's because you're my annoying older sisters. So naturally, I just want the worst for you, no matter what it is. I'm happy as long as you're unhappy, sis. What the hell? It's always been like this. Because even though I'm obviously the cuter one out of the two, you always have a boyfriend or friend around you. You always have someone to take care of you. You always have more money than me. And the way everyone likes you is so annoying. That's your reason? Seriously? It might sound stupid to you, but I'm being dead serious right now. I'm cuter, so I should be treated better. If you want people to like you, then why don't you just establish relationships that people feel are worth caring about? And the only reason I have more money than you is because I work more than you. You do know that you have to work in order to earn money, right? This conversation reminds me of how I also hate the way you're so bossy towards me. You're always trying to sound wise. But I know who you are deep down. You're just no one who's trying to get everyone's attention. Jenna! Don't Jenna me! You don't mean anything to me. What matters is that your fiancé is in love with me and I'm pregnant with his baby. So therefore, he's mine. And that is final. I'm already three months pregnant, by the way. Get the divorce done quickly, please. Bye bye Daniel, can I have a moment to talk to you? I know you're busy at work right now, but there's something really important that I need to address with you. Hey, honey. Of course, what could that be? Wait, let me guess. This is about our wedding, right? Well, partially, I guess. It's about something more important than that. More important than our wedding? May I ask if everything's alright? Well, everything would be alright as long as you haven't seen my sister in a while. Your sister? Oh, the one who cut you off on all contact three years ago. I thought she did horrible things to you and just poofed out of nowhere. Yeah, that one. Have you been meeting her recently, by any chance? I don't even really know how she looks. We met after that incident happened between you and your sister. So I never got to know her well in the first place. I mean, the only time I'd seen her before is that one time you showed me a picture of her, so... I don't think I'd recognize her even if she saw me in the city or something. Sorry. Did I accidentally ignore her when she passed by or something? No, nothing like that. I guess you really don't know her, then. Can I ask why you were wondering that? Were you able to finally reach her? We should definitely bring her to the wedding if you were. I was actually able to reach her. But something happened and I got worried, so I contacted you. Well, that's great! Has something happened? Well, Jenna has been telling me that she's pregnant with your baby. Me?! My baby? Apparently she's three months pregnant now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we slow down for a second? That's literally impossible. I work from home on most days during the week. And even when I do go out for work, I have you drive me over to the company. We spend the weekends together over at our house, too. You and I both know that it's physically impossible for me to do something like that. I would never even want to cheat on you. Please calm down. I'm not doubting you or anything. I just wanted to consult you about it. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. It sounded like I was trying to get something out of you or something. That wasn't my intention at all. My sister just contacted me and started saying these things out of nowhere. So I wanted to tell you about it and ask you what you think I should do about it. No, I'm sorry for panicking, too. I just got scared that something would harm our relationship or something. But why would your sister just say something like that? 
It's possible that the story about the pregnancy itself is just a total lie. Why would she lie about something like that? I'm pretty sure she was drunk when she sent the text to me. Oh, that's true. A pregnant lady wouldn't be drinking in the first place. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but she sounded like she was saying all of that just to feel like she was better than me or something for once. And considering her personality, I'm pretty sure that she even would take good care of her own baby. So she probably wouldn't sabotage the safety of the baby by drinking like that. So you're saying that considering her personality, she wouldn't have been drunk if she were really pregnant. I mean, I'm just guessing, but that's what I think is what happened. That makes sense. So I guess the next thing we should be worrying about is the wedding, right? We should be on alert about what type of crazy things you might do next. Should we contact the wedding hall and make sure that they don't let her into our wedding? Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. I'll contact them and let them know about the situation. Hey sis. I would want to say happy wedding to you, but... I guess the wedding isn't happening today since your husband got another girl pregnant. What a shame. It happened so suddenly, didn't it? <laughs> How does it feel to have your own fiancé choose your sister over you? I'm so sorry I was born so beautiful. If I wasn't so gorgeous, you might have had a happy marriage. Who would have guessed? It's you spamming my phone again. I'm kind of busy right now, so contact me later. I'm going to turn my notifications off, so bye bye What do you mean, busy? Your wedding was cancelled, so you must be bored to death. <laughs> All thanks to me. Oh, no. There must have been a misunderstanding here. Of course we're doing the wedding today, silly. What do you mean? Oh, so you still believe that your husband might actually show up? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but all of that time getting ready is about to go to waste. Boo-hoo! That's just hilarious. Whatever. The wedding is about to start, so I'll see you later, I guess. You're really gonna do the wedding without the groom? Dang, sis. That's very bold of you, I guess. Call me if you're gonna do an after party. I'll be sure to bring the wine so you can drink your tears away. Bye. Bye bye We're about to go turn in our marriage certificate together, by the way. Make sure to let everyone at the wedding hall know. I'm pretty sure his friends would love to come to his actual wedding with me anyways. <laughs> I feel so bad for you. But I feel so happy for myself at the same time. Sucks to be you. What's up, sis? How was your solo wedding? I hope the music and food was good, I guess. Me and your ex-husband ended up having dinner at a restaurant at the top floor of a hotel. The view was absolutely amazing, by the way. And the food was great, too. I'm so fortunate to have him in my life. <laughs> I was imagining how miserable your wedding was while eating, and I felt horrible. Why is it always you that's spamming my phone? Can you please leave me alone? What do you want? I just wanted to let you know that the marriage certificate is turned in, and it's official. Your supposed-to-be husband is now mine. Congratulations, honey. I hope you're finally happy with yourself. Are you kidding me? You're trying not to act embarrassed, huh? You need to do something with that ego, sis. Don't act as if you're fine when you're not. Do you really still believe that my husband is now yours? That there's nothing off about this whole thing? What do you mean? Of course your husband is mine. He's right next to me. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm actually not divorced with my husband. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? The wedding went perfectly as planned, and we became a newlywed couple just a few hours ago. As you could probably tell by now, yes, my husband was right beside me the whole time. In fact, he's right next to me at the moment. What? You must be on something. He's right next to me. Nope. 
The man next to you is not my husband. Wait, but if he's not your husband, then who's this man sitting next to me? So you really did turn in a wedding certificate. I thought you were just lying about that. Of course I turned in a wedding certificate. Aren't you the one who's lying right now? I know for a fact that I took your husband away from you and married him. Bob signed the paper and the city hall said that there was no problem with it. Uh, Bob? Yes, Bob. Oh, I get it now. What do you get? Jenna, my husband's name is Joe, not Bob. What? Who the hell's Joe? I don't know who you're trying to fool right now, but you need to stop lying. What are you trying to accomplish right now? Whoa! This is a picture from today's wedding of Joe and I. Do you like it? Bob? But he was with me the whole day. I don't get it. The man in the picture is Joe. His name is Joe, not Bob. And he's my husband. No, but that's Bob. He has the exact same face as the man right next to me. I mean, it makes sense that the two have identical faces, I guess. <laughs> Bob is Joe's identical twin. Identical twins? What kind of comic book storyline is this? Bob was supposed to come to today's wedding as his older brother's best man. But he cancelled on him out of nowhere because apparently his girlfriend announced that she was pregnant and he needed to go get engaged to her. <laughs> I guess that was you he was talking about. Oh no. It all makes sense now. I mean, that sounds like something Bob would do. <laughs> He's a free spirit, to put it nicely. He has trouble setting his priorities, so he always cancels on events if there's something that personally benefits him. But I've heard stories of that habit of his working against him and those around him. Badly. Like that one time he canceled on a really important meeting because he felt burnt out and caused his company to lose a multi-million dollar deal. Or that time he cheated on his girlfriend with several women and got sued for it. Joe saying that he's tens of thousands of dollars in debt right now because of all of that. He has debt? Why didn't you tell me all about this earlier? Now I'm stuck with this guy being my husband? <laughs> Just get a divorce if you don't want him to be your husband. Of course I can't do that. There's no way on earth that I could afford to work and raise my child on my own. Wait a minute. I thought you were just drunk when you said that you were pregnant. Do you actually have a baby? What? The first time that you told me you were pregnant was when you were drinking. So naturally, I thought that you were just lying to try and attack me. Besides, if you were really pregnant, I thought even you wouldn't drink and potentially harm the baby. Shame on you for that, by the way. It was supposed to be a lie at first. I was just trying to make you feel worse and myself better about the situation. Then why are you saying all of this now? Because I took a test and found out that I was actually pregnant yesterday. Wow. What are the odds? So your lies became reality, huh? I mean, might as well celebrate the new life between you two. No, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. What should I do from now? Why are you asking me? You're the only person who I can ask help for. Please, you're on your feet and I really need it. What do you expect me to do about it? You're on your own, sis. How could you leave your own sister to rot like this? I guess we could move into the house of my in-laws. I mean, I really wouldn't want to live with those old people, but that's probably our only option right now. Oh, about that. I don't think you're going to be able to live in that house anymore. Because it's going to be put up for sale in a few days. What? Why? It was recently announced that Joe was planning to get moved to Canada to manage a new project there. And he was told by his boss that he would most likely stay there for the rest of his career, so I decided that I would move with him. 
So we had a talk with his parents, and they told us about how they always wanted to live in Canada, and that it would be a dream come true if they could come along and live with us. So they made the decision to sell their house and move in with us. Wait, but what's going to happen to Bob then? He lives with his parents right now, doesn't he? Apparently, Joe suggested that he move with us, but Bob immediately turned down the offer because he doesn't like cold climates. What kind of reason is that? Our lives are on the line right now. Oh, and one more thing. What? What now? Our parents moved to another house a year ago, too. So you won't find anyone even if you go there. What? So, I actually didn't receive the divorce certificate that you told me you sent me a while ago. I'm pretty sure the current owners are very concerned about it. <laughs> what do you mean they aren't living in our house anymore? Where are they then? I need to know. Me and Bob are going to move in with them. Mom and Dad went out of their way to ask me to keep quiet about their whereabouts to you. So, I can't tell you. Sorry. What do you mean? They can't just bend your own daughter from your house like this. They were saying that no matter what you guys used to be, someone who steals money is not their daughter anymore. Sorry. How could they? It might be tough, but I wish you good luck. Please take good care of your baby. A few days after me and Joe had our wedding, we and his parents took off for Canada. We're currently living in a house close to his workplace, and it's truly a dream come true for all of us. I later heard that within a few days between our wedding day and moving day, my sister tried to somehow reach me, thinking it would somehow help her situation. But Joe and I had already moved out from our old apartment and were staying at a hotel close to the airport, so she wasn't able to find us anywhere. My sister and Bob are currently living in a cheap old apartment, trying to find a way to somehow pay off all of Bob's debt. On top of that, it turned out that Bob had been borrowing some money from shady people, and they moved a few times after receiving threats of unimaginable contents. I heard from a few relatives that the baby was taken away from my sister after birth, and she was sent over to an orphanage. My sister and her husband were told that if they remain unable to provide a proper environment to raise a child, it is a possibility that either me or my parents will end up taking her in. No matter what ends up happening, the baby has committed no crime and doesn't deserve any less of a happy childhood as anyone else, so we'll be sure to make that happen, one way or another. Hello, Becky! How are things? Who is this? <laughs> As if. I know you know who I am. It's me, Sophia. Your BFF? BFF? The whore who stole my husband and vanished into thin air with him? Ouch! Isn't that a bit harsh? It's the truth. So what does the homewrecker want? Can't you be a little more civil? It's been so long since we've texted each other. When I needed to get in touch with you, you ghosted me. Why the heck are you contacting me now after all this time? It's been three years. I don't remember receiving any texts from you. I probably didn't see them. My bad. I know you're lying, but I don't care anymore. So what do you want? I wanted to ask you if there were any issues with Colin's divorce. Huh? Actually, we're gonna get married. So I wanted to make sure there weren't any issues with his divorce. As I recall, at the time, things got a bit messy. A bit messy? I was just stating the facts. But you weren't interested in facts. Neither you nor Colin. And you've been running away from me until now. So why are you suddenly contacting me? And where are you and Colin living? Wow, all the interest in our lives. I wonder why? Is it because you still have feelings for Colin? Ugh, not at all. So where are you living? Well, we're living near my parents' house. But we've kind of run out of money. So I thought we could move in with my parents. I'm sure my parents will welcome us with open arms if we were married. Your parents' house? So you went back to our hometown? 
That's right. Remember the Chinese restaurant near our junior high school? Our apartment is right next to the restaurant. The rent is much more reasonable in a small town. So you went back. Yep. But Colin takes care of the grocery shopping and everything. So no one knows that I've come back. Hence, no issues. Mom doesn't know Colin was your husband. I mean, now, ex-husband. So I can introduce him as my fiancé. After which, we'll move into my parents' house. Is that so? Oh, and Becky, I would seriously advise you not to come back and create any problems for us. And if you still have feelings for Colin, forget it. We've been together for three years now. And seriously in love. As if I were interested in you and your love life. But tell me, have you spoken to your parents about this? Huh? Not yet. I thought we could go over one night and surprise them. So you haven't contacted them yet? Not yet. So all this time, the three years you've been hiding from me, you've never contacted them? I told them I was going away for a while. No problem. I see nothing but problems. You know your parents have been looking for you. Really? Yeah, but it doesn't concern me, so... Anyhow, remember the money I sued you for? Emotional damages? Can you please pay it already? It's been three years. Huh? Emotional damages? For what? Are you serious? Why do I have to pay this? You and Colin both need to pay it. You had an affair with the man I married, which resulted in a divorce. You've been running away for three years now, but it's time for the two of you to face up and pay up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Aren't we friends, Becky? Friendship is based on give and take. In that case, Sophia, all you've been doing is taking from me. <sighs> Don't be so difficult. Anyhow, let's not bring up the past. It's over. It's been three years. I'm sure the statute of limitation has passed. Let's go back to being friends. I'll just have my lawyer contact you then. Lawyer? Since when do you have a lawyer? I consulted a lawyer when I knew you two would not settle this amicably. Mark my words, you will pay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think you're taking this too far. I don't know why you needed to contact a lawyer. I mean, I've done nothing wrong. You stole your friend's husband and disappeared. Isn't that enough? Is there anything else you want to do to cause me pain? Let's take a step back and think about this rationally. Becky, you and I are friends. You don't want money from me. Also, you and Colin. Your parents are aware of the situation. What? How? Are you serious? You didn't contact my parents, did you? Think about it. Your parents and mine, they live in the same small town. You know how everyone gossips about each other. Everyone knows. Tell me you're lying. What did you say? Just how you ran off with my husband. I'm sure a juicy tidbit like that won't be forgotten, even after three years. I heard your parents were really embarrassed and have stopped socializing. That's probably why you haven't run into them, though you both live in the same town. What? Oh, I can't believe people would care about something like this. And it has nothing to do with my parents, so I don't know why they need to be shamed by everyone. They're embarrassed because their daughter is a thieving slut. But this means I can't move back home. I don't know about that. Whether you return or not is your choice. But I don't know if your parents will welcome you with open arms. Well, that ruins my plan. Your plan? Because you ran out of money, your plan was to live off of your parents like a parasite? Are you calling me a parasite? That's mean. It's normal to depend on your parents for food, money, and shelter. By the looks of things, I doubt you have a job, right? I'm currently in between jobs. But in the previous town, I worked a little. And Colin, he does odd jobs to pay him in cash. I can't believe you guys sank so low. 
You know, Colin used to have a great corporate job. I guess Colin was destined to be a scumbag, living from hand to mouth. What are you trying to say? How were you able to survive for so long without a job? I told you, we work. But nowadays, it's possible to make a living betting on horse races. So don't look down on us. Your primary source of income was through horse race betting? Oh, it's like a job. You arrive at the race course when it opens, and at the end of the day, you leave with cash. And all your money is gone, so you're going to live at home looking for a handout? Well, I don't have any choice. We're struggling. We borrowed a little bit of money, and it's difficult for just the two of us to pay it back. You got in debt as well? I wonder if your parents will welcome you back under those circumstances. As it is, I have received money from your parents. Huh? Because you ran off without settling the compensation you owed me? Your parents gave me some money for the trouble you caused me. I'll have you know, they offered the money without me asking for it or anything. I can't believe you're making my parents pay. They have nothing to do with this. I'm not making them do anything. If you cannot be held responsible for your actions, they felt it was their responsibility to apologize for the trouble you caused. Sophia, you're over 30. And your parents still need to bail you out? How embarrassing. Anyhow, I'll have my lawyer contact you. I know where you live, and I won't let you run away anymore. Are you serious? Pay the emotional damage settlement. I swear, I will make sure I receive every single penny from you. Relax, Becky. Calm down. I know that you're doing this because you still have feelings for Colin. So, how about this? I will give Colin back. Huh? That should settle it. Problem resolved. I never imagined you would sell Colin just to protect yourself. I have no choice. I know that's what you're after. You are so wrong. I'm after the two of you paying the compensation you owe me. I have no feelings whatsoever for Colin. In fact, I'm engaged. What? To whom? My lawyer. He's also my boyfriend slash fiance. What? A lawyer? Oh, how dare you have a lawyer boyfriend? We got to know each other when I consulted him about the divorce and compensation. I guess, in a sense, I met him because of you and Colin. Unbelievable. After I stole your super hot husband, you're going to be happy with a lawyer? While well, I'm stuck with a jobless scumbag? I can't believe you're referring to the guy you stole from me as a scumbag. You are such a cow. It's not fair. Give me your lawyer boyfriend. I have no intention to give him to you. Oh, but he will contact you regarding the money you owe me. So I guess you'll have a chance to hear his voice. I'm going to steal him from you as well. Oh, I'd like to see you try and then fail. Thank you for letting me know where you live. You know, I was considering suing your parents for the compensation you owed me. And now that I have the information I need, I want nothing to do with you. Mm, stop it already! I can't believe you would go this far. Don't you consider me to be your friend? Of course I don't. Stop acting so stupid. You don't have to be so cruel. Of course I do. I want nothing to do with dirtbags like you and Colin. But I will make sure I receive the compensation I'm entitled to. You need to be held responsible for the pain you caused me by stealing my husband. But I don't have any money. What am I supposed to do? Ask your parents. Borrow money. There are numerous ways you can get the money. And if you want to repair your relationship with your parents, first apologize to them for all the pain you've caused. Fine. I'll do it. I'll apologize to my parents, okay? Huh? 
I'll apologize to my parents so we can forget about the compensation money, okay? No, it's not okay. I couldn't care less about what happens between you and your parents. And I have no feelings for Colin. I just can't stand it when people like you can cause this much pain and live your life like nothing happened. I told you, I'll make you pay. Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh, I'll apologize to you as well, Becky. I'm really, really sorry. Even if you apologize now, it's too late. I don't want anything to do with you, Sophia. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Go to hell, you two-faced cow. Sophia got enraged Becky was ignoring her texts and went to Becky's parents' house and caused a scene. Becky's parents called the police and Sophia was taken down to the police station for a lecture. Being a small town, the police officer called Sophia's parents to release her into their custody. After Sophia's father yelled at her for a few hours, he kicked her out of the house and told her to never come back. Colin disappeared and no one heard from him, but Becky was able to receive Colin's share of the compensation money from his parents. Apparently, there's a missing person request for Colin. Sophia had no place to go. With no Colin, no money, no job, she only has debts she needs to repay. She wanders from town to town, working odd jobs while wondering what she did wrong.